Welcome back in. Well, as you guys know, we love bringing special guests on the show every Sunday. And tonight we are blessed to have the hottest women's basketball team in the 916 on the show. That's right, Matt's showing its stingers up. The Sac State women's basketball team is here in the studio and representing the squad, our senior guard, Kalasia Dean, and right next to her junior, Izzy Natable, with the greatest hair of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one of the very few women that actually makes me look short. So thank you guys so much. And of course, head coach, the man behind all the success this year, Mark Campbell, right over here. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. How you doing on this night? Amazing. Good. Amazing. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Well, it's a pleasure to have you guys here. And somebody said amazing, amazing pretty much sums up your guys' uh, season thus far. You guys are off to the best start in franchise history. My first question to you is just, what do you attribute the success of the team so far this year? Yep. It, it starts with the players, period. And uh, we got nine new kids. Um, that we brought in this year. We had three returners, was it. And so it was a, a mixed bag. And um, it's a testament to them this summer. They came together and, and spent a lot of time training and getting to know each other and building that foundation that every team needs. Um, and so it started with that. And then it's evolved to where their talents um, are really complementing each other, um, especially these two as your point guard and center. But there's so many pieces. Um, Benta is an elite defender, and Katie Pinawet is an elite stretch four. Um, and we're getting great contributions from the bench. And Kalen Rondawa is a long, linky scoring wing. But it's all come together where the sum of parts is greater than any individual, and the puzzle fits, and, um, which is why we're off to a great start. You know, I was so fired up when you guys walked in, a starting point guard and a starting center. The chemistry between those two positions, like Coach, you, you referenced, is so important. So I'm curious, between the two of you, speaking about how the relationship you two have built on the floor and the trust that two very different positions have with each other on the floor. Uh, <laughs> <Is he? laughs> uh, I am a center, so I need my point guards and my guards to create a game so I can help them to carry it more. I am so blessed that I have Kalasia this year. Last year, I had Liana Pillman, who is a tremendous player currently being a professional in Germany. Mm. This year, I have big Kalasia <laughs> Dean, all in her big personality, <laughs> and I'm so blessed because she's an amazing attacker. She's allowing me to be visible, and I will do my best to allow her to develop her game. And our teammates are there to, to help us. So we are helping them, mm. and coach is leading us. And I see how every game we... We might be the visible ones, but it's a, such a big teamwork that it's amazing. Yeah, I agree. I think um, with my game, um, Izzy helps a lot with that, with her getting doubled and things like that. She has the kickouts. Um, we just have like a, before every game, you know, where I talk to her, like, you know, if this happens, happen, anything goes down, we know head nod, <laughs> Izzy's coming for a screen. But because for the most part, it's just like, you know, and it's not just us and of course, they're the players. So we know with our strengths comes, their strengths comes, are going to come out as well. So it's just all playing as a team. Yes. Co Coach, the chemistry is clear. Like just from seeing the the two of them interact, seeing you interact with them, watching the rest of the uh, the team play on the floor together. You talked about how this team is now figuring out, or you're starting to see everything complement one another. What is that like watching that from a coach's perspective? Where sure you should take some credit, but also they have to form that chemistry themselves. Yeah, no doubt. You. Uh... Our staff works really hard on the recruiting trail to, to find great young women. Um, that's the first piece. And then you got to find great young women that are very talented basketball players. And you got to put these, these pieces together. Mm. Um, and so we, we have our system of what we're trying to do, which is spread, pick, and roll. And so um, we studied and we needed a lead guard that could attack and make plays over and over again in the spread, pick, and roll, which ended up being KD. And, uh, and if you're going to run a spread pick and roll, you better have a center that could anchor it in the middle that makes it so teams can't switch. And if they do, you can punish them. And, and that's where Izzy has, has just grown and, and been tremendous for us. I bet. Now, you know, I'm just curious. You guys seem to have a lot of fun with each other. It seems like the chemistry on this team is, is really tight-knit, which I love. Do you guys do, have any kind of, like, pregame rituals that you guys do in the locker room before coming out or any ways that you guys uh, – Loosen up before the games? Um, not really. We just have a good chemistry. It's just the luck that we have in this team that 
we assembled a new team with great girls <laughs> off the court. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think it all starts off the court when you are just like, hey, Kalaisha, mm -hmm. you are pretty funny. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I am kind of funny too, yeah. so it's so fun. Yeah. And you, it's not necessary. Coach told us that it's luck to have great personalities even off the court. Yeah. Because a lot of schools are very competitive at the highest level, which could create slightly toxic environment. Definitely not Hornets. It's fun off the court and mm -hmm. it's focused and grind on the court mm -hmm. and it helps a lot when when the game is tied. I, I just love the energy of the team. I mean, <laughs> Coach, can, can I try out for the team? Is it too late? <laughs> I got eligibility left. You know. we'll, we'll Some practice players. Yep, scout team. Practice. I like the scout, scout team, point guard, and shooting guard right here. This is the back I'll, I'll get your water. <laughs> <laughs> Well, before we get out of here, you know, I got to say, I was at the Hornets' nest yesterday. It's an incredible, electrifying atmosphere there. Smaller gym, but I just love the intimacy of that gym and the way that everybody's into the game. For those who are watching who may have never been to a game there, how would you guys describe what an experience is like there at one of your home basketball games and why they should come? Yeah, first of all, it seats a thousand. It's a small little gym that gets hot and sweaty and loud. And so, loud. you guys... We, we have this team that, that has the if factor. And, and if we can get the nest packed and we can get the community to come out and support these young ladies, we won't lose at home. Okay? We won't lose. We got the, the Kings lighting the beam. Yeah. I don't know what we yeah. got to do, but right now, this group's a tough out at home. And, um, and, but these, these young women are, are truly an inspiration to young girls in our community. And so if you've got a young daughter um, and you want to come see – a, a, a talented group of high achieve, achieving women come support us for ten dollars there's no way you can get a better two-hour entertainment <laughs> there, there's no way if there is a better deal let me know <laughs> <laughs> a cup of coffee costs more than ten dollars nowadays so with that being said if you guys want to come check out the hornets they have all of their information on their schedule. It's on their website. Feel free to go check it out there. Like Coach Campbell says, there are less than 10 home games remaining mm -hmm. on the season. So make sure you make it to the Hornets Nest to cheer on these ladies. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Thank you for Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You guys are welcome back anytime. <laughs>